Hey team, Patrick here and in today's lesson I want to talk about the forehand and in particular the swing path and I think the topics raised in today's video are going to resonate for a lot of you players out there, particularly if you're, uh, if you're someone that likes to film your own strokes. Now I already made a video on the setup for the forehand so I suggest you, uh, you check that out as well. But today we're going to concentrate on what happens from the beginning of the forward phase of the stroke into and after the point of contact. And this is going to apply to the, uh, the majority of the forehands that you'll hit. So let's get into it. Firstly, we want to be coming up from below the ball and it's our body that is leading the way and pulling the racket up to the point of contact where the checkpoint that I look for is we've gone from sideways in our setup and we turn so our shoulders are at least level or even better our dominant shoulder should be slightly ahead by the point of contact and the swing path is then going to be to allow the racket to continue to move on this same upwards path or plane where it draws a circular path up and through and across my body. Where if I had a laser beam coming out of my racket, it would stay on this same path and not deviate but remain on this circular plane. And this is going to apply whether I've got a, uh, a slightly bent arm or a straighter, more extended arm at contact, as this is just going to be a matter of style and what feels more comfortable to you. Something I want you to pay particular attention to is the top edge of my racket at contact here rotates over to become the bottom edge of my racket by the finish through this rotation of my body to facilitate this circular swing path. My strings will go from facing off to one side to facing to the other side. The back of my hand is going to rotate over, so it's kind of facing my, uh, my cheek here, and my elbow will come out and around to face the target. Whereas I see a lot of players lock in the racket face at contact and end up hooking or steering the racket around their body with just their arm. Or even in some cases, I see players go the, uh, go the other way and they what we call supinate the racket on the follow through rather than allowing it to pronate over this way. This is all because they're, uh, they're bracing for impact with the ball and they're trying to guide it and hit at the ball. So we need to swing as if there was no ball and not fight it or tense up which is gonna kill your ability to get this racket head speed. One thing I do want to stress though, is this turning over of the racket is uh, something that should happen naturally. And you certainly don't want to manufacture it or flip the racket over with your wrist, as this is gonna be very inconsistent, a very inconsistent way to uh, do it. And it's coming just because my body is leading the way and my arm is staying very loose and relaxed and passive, which allows the racket to what we call release. And I get this extension up and through the ball. For all you golfers out there, it's like a, uh, it's like a golf swing. If I, do, uh, if I do my best golf swing, which probably isn't gonna be very good uh, here, it's the, it's the same. It's just that in golf, we're, uh, we're hitting down and in tennis, we're hitting up. 
A way to practice this, a good way to practice this is as I've been doing here with shadow swings where I do it without the ball because the ball, I like to say, clouds everything and any muscle memory you have takes over. So start by doing some slow, deliberate shadow swings and then at a speed where you can feel the movements, try and replicate it within a within a shot or within a uh, within a rally and your aim is for it to look the same as your shadow swing so my shadow swing here can i replicate it with the ball okay so to summarize this guys it's uh, we want a circular swing on our forehand circular not linear with the rotation of our body and our, uh, our big muscles powering the shot, allowing our small muscles to stay very loose and relaxed. And our follow through is a letting go of, uh, of all of this energy and you don't want a hit at the ball or a conscious movement as you hit the ball as this is during sort of a very fast phase of the stroke. You're going to get more topspin through this upwards swing path. And you're going to be able to unlock your, uh, your full power potential on the forehand. Right guys, hope this makes, uh, this makes sense. Knowing the theory isn't going to be enough and it's going to take some, uh, it's going to take some practice, but it's going to make a huge positive difference to your forehand. If this video has helped, Please, uh, please help us out by uh, liking the video, leaving a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel so you, uh, we can see you on court in the next lesson. Cheers, guys.